What kind of stories would you like to hear? Click on a theme. Home. Pick a home story. Let's go. Molly has an empty cup. Let's go. This story is called Molly has an empty cup. It has four parts. Click on the arrow to listen to the story. Molly drank all of her juice. Her father says, Please put the empty cup on the table. Molly gives the cup to her father. Oh no, that's wrong. Molly puts the cup on the floor. Oh no, that's wrong. Molly puts the cup on the table. Yes, that's right. Molly's father is proud of her. Molly has an. Who is in this story? Matt. Molly. Right on. What is Molly holding? A cup. A bowl. Great job. What is the first thing Molly does wrong in this story? Gives the cup to her father. Puts the cup on the table. Super. What is the second thing Molly does wrong? Puts the cup on the floor. Drops the cup. Correct. How does Molly's father feel when Molly puts the cup on the table? Proud. Sad. Right on. Molly has an empty cup. Is Matt in this story? Yes or no? Wow. Is Molly in this story? Yes. Or no. You got it. Is Molly's brother in this story? Wow. Is Molly's father in this story? Great job. Does Molly drink all of her juice? Super. Does Molly's father tell her to put the cup on the floor? Correct. Does Molly's father tell her to put the cup on the table? Great job. Is it right for Molly to give the cup to her father? Right on. Is it right for Molly to put the cup on the floor? Excellent. Is Molly's father proud when she puts the cup on the table? Wow. Molly has an empty cup. Click on the picture that matches these words. Molly drank all of her juice. Her father says, "Please put the empty cup on the table." Excellent. Click on the picture that matches these words. Molly gives the cup to her father. Oh no, that's wrong. Wow. Click on the picture that matches these words. Molly puts the cup on the floor. Oh no, that's wrong. Wow. Click on the picture that matches these words. Molly puts the cup on the table. Yes, that's right. Molly's father is proud of her. Right on. Molly has an empty cup. Pick a home story. Here we go. 
Matt has dirty hands. Here we go. This is the story of Matt has dirty hands. It has four parts. Click on the arrow to listen to the story. Matt has dirty hands. His mother says, "Please wash your hands." Matt wipes his hands on his clothes. Oh no, that's wrong. Matt wipes his hands on the wall. Oh no, that's wrong. Matt washes his hands in the sink. Yes, that's right. Matt's mother is proud of him. Matt has dirty hands. Who is in this story? Matt's mother. Molly. Correct. Who has dirty hands? Matt. Matt's mother. Excellent. Where does Matt wipe his hands first? On his mother's dress. On his clothes. Wow. Where does Matt wipe his hands second? On a towel. On the wall. Wow. Where should Matt wash his hands? In the toilet. In the sink. Wow. Matt has dirty hands. Is Matt in this story? Correct. Is Molly in this story? Wow. Is Matt's mother in this story? Right on. Does Matt's mother tell him to wash his feet? Correct. Are Matt's hands covered with gloves? Right on. Are Matt's hands covered with dirt? You got it. Should Matt wipe his hands on the wall? Excellent. Should Matt wipe his hands on his clothes? Super. Should Matt wash his hands in the sink? You got it. Is Matt's mother happy at the end of the story? Correct. Matt has dirty hands. Click on the picture that matches these words. Matt has dirty hands. His mother says, "Please wash your hands." You got it. Click on the picture that matches these words. Matt wipes his hands on his clothes. Oh no, that's wrong. Right on. Click on the picture that matches these words. Matt wipes his hands on the wall. Oh no, that's wrong. Super. Click on the picture that matches these words. Matt washes his hands in the sink. Yes, that's right. Matt's mother is proud of him. Correct. Matt has dirty hands. Pick a home story. Let's go. Molly hears a knock at the door. Let's go. This story is called Molly hears a knock at the door. It has four parts. Click on the arrow to listen to the story. Molly hears a knock at the door. Molly's mother says, "Please answer the door." 
Molly opens the door and hides behind it. Matt is still standing outside. Oh no, that's wrong. Molly opens the door and yells, "Mom!" Matt is still standing outside. Oh no, that's wrong. Molly opens the door. She says, "Hi, Matt. Come in." Yes, that's right. Molly's mother is proud of her. Molly hears the knock at the door. Who is in this story? Molly. Molly's father. Correct. Where is Matt standing? Inside the house. Outside the house. You got it. What does Molly hear? The phone ringing. A knock. Right on. What does Molly's mother tell her to do? Answer the door. Hide behind the door. Super. What should Molly do when she opens the door? Yell for her mother. Invite Matt inside. Right on. Molly hears the knock at the door. Is Matt in this story? Great job. Is Molly in this story? Correct. Does Molly hear the doorbell ring? Excellent. Does Molly hear a knock at the door? Excellent. Does Molly hide behind the door? Wow. Is it wrong to hide when someone is at the door? Right on. Does Molly yell, "Mom"? Excellent. Is it wrong to yell when someone is at the door? Wow. Should Molly say, "Go away, Matt"? Super. Should Molly say, "Come in, Matt"? Correct. Molly hears the knock at the door. Click on the picture that matches these words. Molly hears a knock at the door. Molly's mother says, "Please answer the door." Right on. Click on the picture that matches these words. Molly opens the door and hides behind it. Matt is still standing outside. Oh no, that's wrong. Super. Click on the picture that matches these words. Molly opens the door and yells, "Mom!" Matt is still standing outside. Oh no, that's wrong. Excellent. Click on the picture that matches these words. Molly opens the door. She says, "Hi, Matt. Come in." Yes, that's right. Molly's mother is proud of her. Wow. Molly hears the knock at the door. Pick a home story. Here we go. Molly has wet hair. Here we go. This is the story of Molly has wet hair. It has four parts. Click on the arrow to listen to the story. Molly's hair is wet. She is nervous about the sound and the hot air of the blow dryer. 
Molly screams and starts to cry. Oh no, that's wrong. Molly puts her hands up to block the air. Oh no, that's wrong. Molly sings a song to help her relax. She stands still. Yes, that's right. Molly's mother is proud of her. Molly has wet hair. Who is in this story? Great job! How did Molly's hair get wet? From taking a shower. From standing in the rain. You got it. How does Molly feel about the blow dryer? Happy. Nervous. Super. What is the first thing Molly does wrong in this story? Blocks the hot air with her hands. Screams and starts to cry. Correct. What does Molly do to make her mother proud? Gets angry. Stands still. Wow. Molly has wet hair. Is Matt in this story? Excellent. Is Molly in this story? Super. Is Molly's mother in this story? You got it. Does Molly's mother want to dry Molly's hair with a towel? Wow. Does Molly's mother want to dry Molly's hair with a blow dryer? You got it. Is Molly nervous about the sound of the blow dryer? Wow. Is Molly nervous about the hot air of the blow dryer? You got it. Should Molly scream when she gets nervous? Excellent. Should Molly block the air with her hands when she gets nervous? Great job. Should Molly sing a song to help her relax when she gets nervous? Right on. Molly has wet hair. Pick a home story. Here we go. Matt goes to bed. Let's go. This story is called Matt goes to bed. It has four parts. Click on the arrow to listen to the story. Matt's father says, "Time for bed, Matt." Matt gets in the bed. He jumps up and down on the mattress. Oh no, that's wrong. Matt gets in the bed. He hides under the covers. Oh no, that's wrong. Matt gets in the bed. He lies down. He says, "Good night, Daddy." I love you. Yes, that's right. Matt's father is proud of him. Matt goes to bed. Pick a home. Let's go. Molly has wet hair. Click on the picture that matches these words. Molly's hair is wet. She is nervous about the sound and the hot air of the blow dryer. You got it. Click on the picture that matches these words. Molly screams and starts to cry. Oh no, that's wrong. Excellent. Click on the picture that matches these words. Molly puts her hands up to block the air. Oh no, that's wrong. You got it. 
Click on the picture that matches these words. Molly sings a song to help her relax. She stands still. Yes, that's right. Molly's mother is proud of her. Right on. Molly has wet hair. Pick a home story. Here we go. Matt goes to bed. Who is in this story? Molly. Matt. You got it. Who is putting Matt to bed? Matt's mother. Matt's father. You got it. What does Matt do first when he gets in bed? Jumps off of the bed. Jumps up and down on the bed. Right on. What does Matt do second when he gets in bed? Hides under the covers. Puts the pillow over his head. Right on. What should Matt do when he gets in bed? Lie down. Cry. Great job. Matt goes to bed. Is Matt in this story? You got it. Is Molly in this story? You got it. Is Matt's father in this story? Super. Is it time for Matt to go to school? Super. Is it time for Matt to go to bed? Super. Should Matt jump up and down on his bed at bedtime? Right on. Should Matt hide under the covers at bedtime? Wow. Should Matt lie down quietly at bedtime? Wow. Does Matt say "Happy birthday" to his father? Super. Does Matt say "Good night" to his father? Excellent. Matt goes to bed. Click on the picture that matches these words. Matt's father says, "Time for bed, Matt." Super. Click on the picture that matches these words. Matt gets in the bed. He jumps up and down on the mattress. Oh no, that's wrong! Wow. Click on the picture that matches these words. Matt gets in the bed. He hides under the covers. Oh no, that's wrong. You got it. Click on the picture that matches these words. Matt gets in the bed. He lies down. He says, "Good night, Daddy. I love you." Yes, that's right. Matt's father is proud of him. Wow. Matt goes to bed. Pick a home story. Here we go. Matt and Molly watch TV. Here we go. This is the story of. Matt and Molly watch TV. It has four parts. Click on the arrow to listen to the story. Molly says to Matt, "Matt, sit down and watch TV with me." Matt sits down and turns up the volume. The TV is too loud and hurts Molly's ears. Oh no, that's wrong. Matt stands in front of the TV. And watches the show. 
Now Molly can't see. Oh no, that's wrong. Matt sits quietly next to Molly. They enjoy the show together. Yes, that's right. Molly is proud of Matt. Matt and Molly watch TV. Who is in the story? Matt, Molly's mother. Great job. What is Molly doing? Watering a flower. Watching TV. Great job. What is one thing Matt does wrong in this story? Stands in front of the TV. Stands next to the couch. Correct. What should Matt do when he watches TV? Sit quietly. Turn up the volume. Super. How does Molly feel when Matt sits quietly? Proud. Angry. Super. Matt and Molly watch TV. Is Matt in this story? Excellent. Is Molly in this story? You got it. Is Molly doing a puzzle in this story? Super. Is Molly watching TV in this story? Excellent. Does Molly tell Matt to leave the room? Great job. Does Molly tell Matt to sit down with her? You got it. Does Matt turn up the volume too loud? Correct. Is it wrong to make the volume too loud? Right on. Does Matt stand in front of the TV? Right on. Can Molly see when Matt is in front of the TV? Wow. Matt and Molly watch TV. Click on the picture that matches these words. Molly says to Matt, "Matt, sit down and watch TV with me." You got it. Click on the picture that matches these words. Matt sits down and turns up the volume. The TV is too loud and hurts Molly's ears. Oh no, that's wrong. Super. Click on the picture that matches these words. Matt stands in front of the TV and watches the show. Now Molly can't see. Correct. Click on the picture that matches these words. Matt sits quietly next to Molly. They enjoy the show together. Yes. That's right. Molly is proud of Matt. Correct. Matt and Molly watch TV. Pick a home story. Let's go. Molly has a dog. Let's go. This story is called Molly has a dog. It has four parts. Click on the arrow to listen to the story. Molly got a new pet. It is a cute dog. Molly touches the dog's food. The dog gets angry and barks at Molly. Oh no, that's wrong. Molly pulls on the dog's tail. The dog gets angry and growls at Molly. Oh no, that's wrong. 
Molly pets the dog. The dog likes this and wags its tail. Yes, that's right. The dog is happy. Molly has a dog. Who is in this story? Matt, Molly. Super. What pet does Molly get? A duck, a dog. Excellent. What is one thing Molly does wrong in this story? Pulls the dog's tail. Pulls the dog's ear. Super. What does Molly do right in this story? Pets the dog. Touches the dog's food. Correct. What does a dog do when it is happy? Growls. Wags its tail. Right on. Molly has a dog. Is Matt in this story? Super. Is Molly in this story? Right on. Does Molly have a new dog? Correct. Does Molly touch the dog's food? Great job. Is it right to touch a dog's food? Right on. Does Molly pull the dog's tail? Excellent. Is it right to pull a dog's tail? Great job. Does Molly pet the dog? Correct. Does a dog growl when it is happy? Excellent. Does a dog wag its tail when it is happy? Right on. Molly has a dog. Click on the picture that matches these words. Molly got a new pet. It is a cute dog. Excellent. Click on the picture that matches these words. Molly touches the dog's food. The dog gets angry and barks at Molly. Oh no, that's wrong. Super. Click on the picture that matches these words. Molly pulls on the dog's tail. The dog gets angry and growls at Molly. Oh no, that's wrong. Right on. Click on the picture that matches these words. Molly pets the dog. The dog likes this and wags its tail. Yes, that's right. The dog is happy. Right on. Molly has a dog. Pick a home story. Let's go. Matt hears the phone ring. Let's go. This is the story of Matt hears the phone ring. It has four parts. Click on the arrow. Matt hears the phone ring. Matt's mother says, "Please answer the phone, Matt." Matt picks up the phone and screams into it. Oh no, that's wrong. Matt picks up the phone and plays with the buttons. Oh no, that's wrong. Matt picks up the phone. He says, "Hello." Yes, that's right. Matt's mother is proud of him. Matt hears the phone ring. Who is in this story? Molly's father. Matt. Great job. 
What does Matt hear? The phone ringing. A dog barking. Correct. What does Matt's mother tell him to do? Answer the door. Answer the phone. Super. What is one thing Matt does wrong when he answers the phone? Throws the phone. Plays with the buttons. Excellent. How should Matt answer the phone? Pick up the phone and say hello. Scream into the phone. Excellent. Matt hears the phone ring. Is Matt in this story? Super. Is Molly in this story? You got it. Does Matt hear the doorbell? Correct. Does Matt hear the phone ring? Right on. Does Matt's mother tell him to answer the phone? You got it. Does Matt scream into the phone? You got it. Is it right to scream into the phone? You got it. Does Matt play with the buttons on the phone? Right on. Does Matt hang up on the person who called? Right on. Is Matt's mother angry when Matt picks up the phone and says hello? Great job. Matt hears the phone ring. Click on the picture that matches these words. Matt hears the phone ring. Matt's mother says, "Please answer the phone, Matt." Wow. Click on the picture that matches these words. Matt picks up the phone and screams into it. Oh no, that's wrong. Great job. Click on the picture that matches these words. Matt picks up the phone and plays with the buttons. Oh no, that's wrong. Correct. Click on the picture that matches these words. Matt picks up the phone. He says, "Hello." Yes, that's right. Matt's mother is proud of him. You got it. Matt hears the phone ring. Pick a home story. What kind of stories would you like to hear? Click on a theme.